I tried to imagine uh, what it would be like from the perspective of a viewer in a, in a surreal museum. Um, a situation where the museum goer has an opportunity to interact with the paintings. The art pieces are bridges. The bridges to uh, maybe a former memory or bridges to an emotion. If we allow ourselves not to be bound by reality, then we can really focus and explore the kinds of things that we want. I then use those photographs and layer images um, in Photoshop to create the overall narrative. I was always a little bit ashamed of being colorblind. I saw it as a disability. But now, as um, I've, I've come to uh, embrace the use of unusual, maybe bold, hyper-saturated colors in my work, and it's, it's become perhaps a bit of a signature. En général, j'aime euh, faire des, euh, des pièces qui, euh, qui sont assez simples euh, au niveau des, des éléments, mais qui gardent quand même une certaine pointe euh, d'humour et euh, des gens trouvent ça euh, bizarre ce que je fais, <rire> ou, euh, ou les gens trouvent que c'est euh, quelque chose qu'ils n'ont jamais vu auparavant. Pour moi, l'artwork a toujours besoin de some kind of texture, pas juste une simple reproduction ou une photographie, mais it needed to be to feel like a three dimensional piece uh, recreated and I incorporated all the texture in my works so by basically using a painting knife and after adding a layer after layer of paint and then sculpting it in a repetitive manner to basically build up the texture and this allows me using the, this technique using a series of vertical slats like this to create a lenticular screen effect which changes the composition altogether as you move along the piece. called Maynads, um, and the title refers to um, these characters from Greek mythology who are the female worshippers of the god Dionysus, who is um, the god of sex and wine and sort of all things badly, bad behavior. And I guess I'm particularly interested in what I see as this contradiction between chaos and sort of overuse and sort of this fetishization of abundance mixed with this sort of beauty and um, lushness that's obviously present in the natural world. We participate in international art fair, national art fairs, and we make publications for our artists. And the majority of the artists that I seem to pick is based on their talents with uh, somewhere between figurative and abstract. Uh, the medium doesn't affect on that, and it could be installations conceptual uh, photography, painting, drawing, prints, collage. It's more of an intuitive process that I pick uh, artists very carefully. We are all growing together and uh, we're looking forward to uh, collaborate with new artists and existing artists, keep the relationship together. Artists can come and go, but you know, gallery has to move on with uh, different technology and different artists and different uh, situations. I'm very proud of uh, where we stand now.